Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Mario Plus Rabbids. Last time we left off, we did a pretty hard mission that was pretty wild, and uh, I did some things um, off screen. One of the things I did is I came back here to Pristine Peaks, and I did the little challenge doohickey to um, get a uh, new skin. I can't quite remember which weapon skin it is. Um, I don't know which one it is that I got, I'm gonna be honest, but I did the little challenge thingy and got something. Ooh, those look cool. Yeah, take those. Maybe that's what I got. Um, I think that's what I got for doing the first levels. Um, maybe it was, th there, there's a bunch of things it could have been, to be completely honest. There's, there's quite a few options it could have been, but whatever. So yeah, we did that. Um, I actually have a clip um, saved here of me finishing it. Um, it was a pretty tight one. This fun. Um, like the timing for this one, I had a, I, I, I failed it a few times actually, but yeah, the, the, the like capturing clips thing on the uh, switch can be weird sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't capture what I actually want. Um, so yeah, there we go. So I don't, I don't know which skin that was, but I promise I did it. The other thing I did was there was some stuff missing here and I started walking around. This is the area. Yeah, I remembered it. There's an area with like a big gap and it looked like there was, you know, I could get over there. So this is where we needed to go for these last, or probably just one planet coin. There's probably somewhere else that has another one. Um, so this is where we had to go. We needed this, the dowsing thing to actually be able to do it. So we got a little, uh, little puzzly dude to solve here. I guess let's hit you. You move there, which allows me to get this. And this goes up here. Right? No? Okay, no, that's that's we need the cube on. So I need to get over there with this. Because that's where I gotta put that thing in. And I need to be able to get to that cube. Um there might be an invisible thingy there. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably the case, huh? Might be an invisible walkway over here. Yes. Yes. Okay, so that's how we get over here, and then I can push this cube across. Hmm. Yeah. But now what? There's not a... Oh wait, no, there is. There's, there's more platform. Okay, so I just need to go down here and move that now. Beautiful. I was wondering, I was like, wait, what am I doing here? There we go. So now that's moved over there. And we can run our happy little rabbit asses all the way over here. And boom. So now we push this here, and then I can get this back over here too. I can get my little circle thing. Uh, over there. Yes. No, no, stay on there. There we go. So now I need to go down there and pick up my little circle, and then, yeah, I imagine there's a bridge I can walk across there now. All these hidden bridges. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I can put this in and we can get our reward. So yeah, there's still like one more planet coin here. I don't quite know where it is. Um, I might just have to explore on my own time, kind of like I did here. To uh, find it. But uh, I will, of course, show um, me getting it. So if you look at progression here... Yeah, see, I still have 4% uh, left in Pristine Peaks, but we'll come back to it and find the last little bit there. So let's teleport back to the ship and be on our merry way. We can get back to um, Autumn Land with all of their pumpkin spice and everything, and I can start doing some more things over there. Palette Prime. And then we gotta make our way to Terra Flora after that. Phew. But yeah, um, my save file says we're like 50% of the way through this game. Um, which is about how long I thought it was going to be. The first game wasn't crazy long. I suppose if you have the- if you do the DLC as well, it can get pretty long. And this game might be pretty long with the DLC too, but... It's been, uh, pretty fun all the way through here. We're only 50% of the way. But it feels like our characters are just so busted. Um, <laughs> but it'll be crazy to see just how crazy we can get them by the end, so. Alrighty, so what do I want to do? 
There's a bunch of missions and stuff I could take care of. There's the secret zone, evil by the lake, bridge to darkness. I think we should go take care of all of those things, yeah? Um, I should have just teleported to that flag. So yeah, let, let's go take care of this stuff. Um, there's a bunch of levels just hiding over here in this area that it has mostly been unexplored by me. So, I think that's a good call. I've also got to remember to do the little time challenge for the secret zone, uh, this time. While I'm actually here instead of coming back to it later. Alright, Darkmas Puddle, hit me with your best shot, fire away. I'm interested to see what you've got. Oh yeah, someone mentioned there's uh, actually a glitch with Luigi, and that's why uh, I didn't make it onto that bounce pad in the previous level that I did. Um, I got right to the end, and it looked like it was inside of my zone, but then I didn't, ended up not making it. So, that's interesting. Um, another thing a commenter said was, for these missions where it's like, reach the area, they actually use Mario, which is a fantastic idea as well. Um, because Mario can just kind of stomp on the enemies in a line. Which is cool. So, I think this is probably the squad I'm gonna roll with, because this is my... This is my, uh... Let's get really far into the level in, like, one turn squad. That's, that's what I'm calling them. Uh, alright, Edge. I wish you had as much movement range as Ouija and, uh... Rabbit Mario. Unfortunately, you do not. Uh huh. Not quite there. Damn. So close to. Uh, you know what? Why don't we just go ahead and use one of these? Yeah. There we go. Then and I can uh, dash to increase my range here. Can't hide. There we go. So we got a bunch of extra range there. Now I may be able to get like Ouija or something over there. Maybe, just maybe. Let's see just how far we can go here. Alright, beautiful. And then if I bring Edge... ...back here... ...to you... ...you can jump. And that'll get you to right here. Hmm, not quite... ...far enough to do it in one turn. Um, if I drop down here, you'll be at that area. I do have enough for one more movement increase thing, but I don't know if Luigi would be able to get over there. That seems like a pretty far walk, you know? So, I'm not totally sure that would work. I'm trying to think if there's anything else interesting that I could do. Um, let's see. Let's get you in here. Yes. Is there anything interesting you could do? You could kind of pull people in. Hmm. I think my best bet is going to be to try and see if this uh, new area of movement will get me to where I want to go. If it doesn't, yeah, that's fine. I can just enderling and we'll be safe. So just go invisible. And then... Edge, you're safe down here. And Rabid Mario, I can just run you down here as well. Alright, we should both be safe. And Ouija's invisible, so... I'd used two of my movement things there, but it made the fight go a lot faster, so we got that going for us. Maybe I'll even be able to knock out all three of these missions over here today. I should consider giving the, uh, the Mario strat a shot. Or do use Mario and Luigi for both of these. Just like really leaning into Mario's ability to jump off of enemies. The only thing that scares me about that one is I actually have to have a line of enemies, but it would be interesting to try and, you know, reposition the enemies and stuff. Um, possibly with like, uh, the movement based, um, sparks to get them into positions that I need to, so I can adequately get around. Alrighty, so... That's, that's something I always love about games, and that's one of my favorite parts of uh, seeing LPs for games in particular as well. It's just all of the different ideas that people will come up with. Um, it's always cool seeing people's different approaches to things, because um, I'm definitely, definitely a big fan of not just like, um, you know, like looking up what the best strat is on a wiki or something, and just seeing what kind of weird strategies you can come up with, or other people can come up with. 
that's always the funnest thing to me, so... Um, I really, really like, uh, that kind of stuff, because... I definitely get when people, um, just look, you know, like, stuff up on a wiki, especially if you're playing a game that's just really, really long or really, really hard. Um, but, and that's something I do sometimes, you know, on, like, multiple playthroughs. I'll be like, ooh, what's, like, the most busted strategy that we can possibly think up here? But it is fun to just kind of poke around and learn things yourself as well and come up with weird strategies that, you know, maybe someone's never tried before and stuff like that. There's also the issue of sometimes just, like, optimizing the fun out of a game. Um, if you just, like, you know, go for the best possible things you can find online and stuff right from the get. Because, um... Uh, I had a friend of mine, which... I don't remember what game it was... I want to say it was Hades? Um, where I was just kind of poking around and having fun with Hades. But, uh, they just kind of immediately, as soon as they got it, um just looked up, like, what's the best build? And they just started trying to run that build every single round, and, uh, they quickly got very bored with it, where I was poking around and trying different things and stuff. But, you know, different strokes for different folks. Some people enjoy games differently, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm just very much the type that wants to slowly discover things. Um... On my own. Uh... Yeah, I think I know who I want to run. Here. Um, Ouija, get out of here. Rabid Ouija, get in. Um, that looks good to me. Yeah, I'm happy with the squad. I'm sure everyone knows exactly what's going through my head right now. Um, we are not even going to need to mess with our sparks because, um, there's probably only one spark I'm going to be using. So, uh, speaking of just optimizing the absolute hell out of something. <laughs> I don't know, though. There's just something so nice about this. Um... It is funny. And it's just like, sometimes when there's a strategy in the game that's just like, so terribly overpowered, it's almost hard not to use it. Um... Cause it's just, it's so busted. And it makes things so quick, so quick. Like, look at that. Look at this absurd character. Like I said, it just depends on what people like, and my... Uh, my, my opinions on it change depending on the game. Some games I like to just be stupid ridiculously OP. In some games, I like to use, like, weird niche strategies that barely help me scrape through. It just depends on the day. You know. Like I said, it's different strokes for different folks. Everyone can enjoy games exactly how they want. That's why, uh, I love that accessibility options are such a big thing that's being offered now. Because, uh, I mean, one, it just straight up allows more people to be able to play games, but... Also, there's some people that just don't like, um, tons of difficulty in their games, for example. Or, uh, something like that, so... If a game's really difficult, they wouldn't enjoy- like, they wouldn't even get to enjoy it at all. If, uh, there weren't accessibility options available, or e or easier difficulties in general. Or anything like that. Um, my wife, for example, uh... Really, uh, usually plays games on, like, easier difficulties, even games that she's played a ton. Just because it allows her to just do whatever she wants, basically, without having to over-optimize equipment and things like that. What is happening here? Um... I've never seen this. Is this a new power I haven't got? Oh, that- oh, okay, wait, 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 maybe I have seen these? I'm just misremembering. Okay, yeah, it, it had the little logo for my thingy, so I was like, oh, it must be that. And sure enough, it was. It's just like a switch that swaps these two different things. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, difficulty in video games is um, a very interesting... Uh, what are we looking for here? Um, I think it's a very, very interesting topic. Um, and I have, a, I have a lot to say about it, but I'm just very, very much on the side of... Uh, let people enjoy games however they feel like they want to. Where? I need a circle for you. So where does this triangle go? Right? Where does this triangle go? Did I just bring this to totally the wrong area? Oh my god, I did. That's where the triangle goes. I had this and I was trying to solve the puzzle with this. And I think this just goes over here, actually. Yeah, it totally does. <laughs> I brought the wrong switch to the wrong place. Hilarious. I made the Goomba tired. <clears throat> Yeah, as I've gotten older, too, um, there, there are times where I just love absolutely crippling difficulty in games. But, uh, as I've gotten older, I do just enjoy nice, chill strolls. 
through game worlds, you know? Just getting to experience the world, getting to have a good time. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, so where... Is there something hidden? Aha! You're what I need. Okay. Yep, when in doubt, use the dowsing machine. When in doubt, use the dowsing machine. There we go. Yeah, I was just confused because I had that other thing still in my hands. Because I got distracted because I was talking. And, uh, yeah, it screwed me over. So that makes that bridge appear. Yes. Beautiful. Alrighty. Give me my planet coin. Height fright. Beautiful. Just, uh, run right past this nerd. You see nothing. I'm just gonna jump down right here, and you won't even know what hits you. Boom. Alrighty, so now we can head over here, and this... Is a totally different... Yeah, we've never been here before. Cool. We even get some, uh, star bits. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, this area. The red coin challenge. There's a house over here. It looks like this connects to the, um, challenge right there. If only I had a few more sparks, I would be able to do that, but I don't think I have enough at the moment. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, a bunch of coins. Yay. Hi? Uh huh. Yeah, the little thing that tells you when there's like a secret passage. Interesting. Oh, here. Oh, what? Why do I have a jack o' lantern head? It looks like it's rotting. I. What? Why do I have this? What what is my what is my purpose? You slice toast. Uh Wahoo! There's a thingy over there and it's very glowy. Oh, I put it on here? Here you go, friend. Why did I do this? I don't know. But I did it. Odd. Okay, well there's a big spinny th thing over here. Give me that. So what did I- why did I return the bits to that... Scarecrow? Is this needed for the red coin challenge for some reason? Maybe? Huh. Weird. And then it's down here... Oh, there's multiple. There's multiple Scarecrows. Gotta return all their heads, I suppose. Okay, yeah, that- that makes sense. Not so bad. Thank you for the planet coin. The greatest moment of my life. You've had so many greatest moments of your life, Rabbit Mario. Ah, get off of that. Big dweeb. Alright, hey, how you doing? You got a- you got a, a, a jack-o'-lantern hanging around here? Yes, you do. I'm so strong, <laughs> I'm so strong, <laughs> Alright, Mandark. Mwahaha, mwahaha, ha ha. Boom. It's been such a long time since I've seen Dexter's Laboratory. Watched it a ton as when I was a kid. Actually, one of the first cartoons I ever watched. That and Dragon Ball Z. Um, I was at my grandparents' house and they were just like, Oh yeah, you wanna watch some cartoons? Put it on Cartoon Network. Had never watched Cartoon Network before as far as I understand. And, uh, that was what was on. Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Lab, and Dragon Ball Z. Those are the first cartoons I ever have any recollection of actually watching. At least Cartoon Network cartoons and stuff. Also the first anime. Obviously I'd watched like, you know, kids movies and kids shows before that, but um... Oof. Yeah. It was a cool moment. I was very young. Surprised I still remember it. Oh, it's too much. I even remember exactly which episode it was. It was specifically, um... Garlic Jr. was in it. So, that's cool. So it was like, right at the beginning of uh, DBZ, I believe. Or right at the end of Dragon Ball, one of the two. Palletville is the cultural and economic heart of the planet, as residents are- Oh, yeah, let's let you read it, Genie. Palletville is the cultural and economic heart of the planet, as residents are quick to remind everyone else. It is also a petri dish of gossip, petty jealousies, and schemes. Still, the village market more than upholds its reputation for artisan desserts and pumpkin-spiced beverages. Is it prosperity that breeds the self-serving behavior here? Or fame, perhaps? And if so, is it inevitable? 
Wow, we're getting philosophical here, genie. Jeez. Okay, I need one more pumpkin. Where's my, uh... Oh, it's in this tree. Give me it. So is this gonna give me a planet coin? I imagine so, yes. Yes, it will. All right, beautiful. Well, there we go, that was pretty easy. Wonderful. Creepy Hollow. Instead of Sleepy Hollow. I get it, I understand the reference. That's fun. So yeah, we got that. That's an incredibly cursed scarecrow. Okay, I think we've pretty much done everything over here except go in this house and also just talk to you. Thanks for making my scarecrows hold again. It's a lot weirder talking to them when they don't have heads. Oh, I did the thing without even knowing why I was doing it. You're welcome, friend. Alright, we're clearing up, uh, Palette Prime here. Ooh. Hi. Just gonna rob this person of all of their invis invisible money. Ah, and these were the other bits of your story. I thought we were missing a little bit of Woodrow's story. Well, we know how this ends. Each time Woodrow read a poem, tragedy would strike. Residents of Palette Prime naturally blamed him. They would forbid him to write poetry again, citing billions in property damage and his use of cliched metaphors. Poor Woodrow. Residents held a poetry slam contest to find a new poet laureate, as Woodrow's poems were always followed by tragedy. Woodrow entered the contest wearing a disguise to prove it wasn't his poetry that caused a disaster, but bad luck. 1,142 cases of bad luck. Jeez, Woodrow, maybe you should give up poetry, friend. It seems like it has not done a lot of good for you in your life, but who am I to tell you to stop following your passion? Even if it causes... buildings and things to fall on people. Ooh, so many free coins. Because they respawn. Gimme, 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 gimme. That's probably a very small portion of uh, another movement speed item that I used up. Alrighty, so that's this area cleared out now. Cool. And I can lower the ladder over here. God, the frame rate hates this place. Go ahead and lower this. So yeah, that's the golden thingy, right? Oh, no, that's just the skin. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, this isn't my golden prism. This is, um... Yeah, just that thingy. Um... Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we can go ahead and do this uh, mission then. That reminds me, yeah, I did never use this other gold prism I had. Someone mentioned uh, I had gotten two of them, and I, th I thought I had used another one, but I did not, apparently. So, um, let's use it here. Boom. I, I do like edge. Yeah. There we go. They all seem to be the same, so... Not too much to think about there, but your tree is unlocked now, edge. Cool. Yeah, I had that sitting in my pocket and I just remembered it, so... There we go. Hello! Closing the gap. And this gets us a skin. That's what those gold chests usually have. This is level 22, but we're level 21, so... Survive. Uh... Okay... Eight turns of survival. Yike. Um... Hmm. Let's see here. What enemies are we dealing with? What are these things? Spell Razor? Long range attackers summon stooges to the battlefield. Wait, that says long rage attacker. Summon stooges to the battlefield. Long rage. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a typo. Uh, they're weak to gusts, interestingly. And you can summon enemies. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Um, I actually realized, though, we're, uh, a little bit long in the, uh, quit the planet. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Or can I save the game here? If I can save the game here. Oh, I can save the game here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's just save the game on this then, and we'll do this next time, because, um, if this was a little bit shorter of a level, I would do it now. But, uh, I'm a bit out of time, and this one's eight rounds long, so I think we'll take care of this next time. So, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Oh, God, saving's not possible during a battle. Um, alright, quit the planet then, and then, yeah.